Hi, welcome to a short tutorial on how to set up your head tracking for Star Citizen cheaply and effectively. If you're like me and only have four fingers and a thumb on each hand, you might find tracking targets a bit of a fiddle in the heat of battle. Well, this tutorial's here to help. I've got the Logitech C920 webcam. It manages 1080p at 30 frames per second, which is more than sufficient for what we're here for. You will need decent lighting conditions and a bit of tweaking, but that's where I'm here. First things first is to plug in and position your webcam. we found having it below the monitor works better, but this is personal preference. Next you'll need to light the room you're in. The camera seems to struggle in dimly lit places, and the last thing you need is choppy detection mid-flight. So let's get it calibrated. What we'll need to do first is head over to settings, head over to the top right where it says comms, VoIP and head tracking. Look for the Facewear camera device and select the right choice for your camera. In my instance, the H264 HD Pro webcam 1920x1080 at 30fps selection works best. To test that it works, you need to hit the calibrate key, which will open a new window and place dots on all your lovely features, like this. Hi! Now what we're looking for is that it says calibrated true and is tracking true. See? Ooh. Once you're convinced this is active, then you can simply go back to the game. Once you're done, it's a case of sorting out all of the settings that you like most, so I prefer a slower reaction to my head movements. You can find all of the relevant curves here, and the best place to test this out is Satin Arena Commander, where you've got no one gunning you down as you try to fiddle. I also prefer to have it switched off during FPS because it makes me feel woozy. It's also handy to have a recalibrate key binding and a center key binding. To find that you head up to key bindings, down to advanced control customization, and then third from the bottom you have VoIP, FOIP and head tracking. So I have a toggle on and off so that if it's just completely borked I can switch it off simply. I like to recenter with the numpads full stop and then I have left shift and numpad full stop to recalibrate which should reset it if it all goes wrong. One of the best places to test this out is in Arena Commander where you can take your time, make sure it works perfectly before you head into the PU. So I always choose free flight as it uh, gives you low pressure. Get your favourite ship and crack on. So first things first, make sure you're sitting comfortably and then hit your recenter key. Once you're done, have a little look around. Should work nicely. Which means that you can bank right and look left. Bank left, look right. Just makes tracking targets a hell of a lot easier. And if it all goes out of whack, then you just hit the rebind and it goes straight back to the center. If you are to enable face tracking, then you can capture all of your grimaces, gurns, and grins for added cinematics. Woohoo! <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.